So good morning and a massive warm welcome to Really Fun Accessible Adventures. My name is Sharon and this is Rubix, my assistant's dog. We're here at Pentire Glaze, which is just, just to the side of Polzeth, um, North Cornwall. We thought we'd bring you out and we've actually chosen the day where the sun is actually shining and there's no rain, but we've actually found a time when it has been raining so much <laughs> we're just completely covered in mud. So, but anyway, we want to show you where you can go when you, if you hire a tramper or if you have an off-roader that you can actually get to the coast. So um, enjoy your time with us. And uh, as I say, we'll show you where you can go and we'll show you the train as I do in all of my videos. Why don't you take a look at them? That would be really great. We'd really appreciate that too. And if we can help anybody enjoy the beautiful Cornwall that we live in, then it's got to be a plus, doesn't it? So enjoy the journey with us and um, yeah, let's go and have some fun. So we've just arrived at the far end car park and this is at the Pentire Glaze. So we've just come up that farm track. So there's the main Pentire Glaze car park, there's the Tin Mine car park and there's six spaces a bit further down but the, there's a gate to open so you'd need somebody to help you through if you're on a, in a um, wheelchair assisted vehicle. So I'm just going to pan around my daughter's just trying to get out of the way. Hi Meg, no hiding. <laughs> so this is the trail. So it's really quiet here. And um, yeah, our first hurdle obviously is the mud. Um, I'm going to negotiate which way to go. Can you see down there? So let's just go for it. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yay. So you can hire a tramper, which is an off-road as a four, eight mile an hour. So a huge chunky thing. So this can bring you up here easily, I'm guessing. So there's the farmhouse. Look at that, that's Paul Zeth over there. So this is the terrain. So we're going uphill. I have an off-roader, so I would definitely, either you have, if you have an off-roader, then that's great. And if you find that um, you haven't, then please book a tramper. I'm not sure how many they have, one or two, but um, please ring up and ask because you, you would definitely benefit from that. So it's a bit, a bit bumpy and it's going on an incline. So make sure you've got your cushion if, if you've got any back problems. I'm just gonna turn around in a second, show you. And we've got the sunshine, we've got blue sky. My God, have we had so much rain here in Cornwall. Look at that for a fantastic view. I'm gonna pan around, Megan's gonna be so delighted because she's coming up the rear. Wave, Meg. <laughs> So this is a situation where you'd be the best person on the planet because you would be the one with the picnic um, at Pentire Glaze, which is like just a bit further down. It's the National Trust car park, lots of disabled bays. Um, you can get a takeaway drink. There's like a little kiosk and somewhere to shelter. So it's not like a sit down restauranty type cafe. Um, I think there's four different types of walks you can do. There's one that goes down to the beach, um, but we thought we'd go a little bit off-roading because that's what we're about, a little bit of an adventure. So um, again, this is the terrain, a bit bubbly. A spider is just crawling across my leg, but no panic, as they say. <laughs> so we're just carrying on. We've got blue sky, this is March, and we have blue sky here. Cornwall and it's not raining which is even better I'm going to lift that up to see if you can see see how far my arm goes clearly if you're standing up you'd be able to have a better view but um, this is my view from here Oops. so yeah so it's still very grab a bit well gravelly a bit muddy I'm going to go along the headlands so hopefully it won't be too windy so we're going to go to Pentire Point, which is that way. You can see where to the rump. I'm not actually sure which way we can go. Let's have a little look. What that sign says. Oh yeah, well that well that would be a definite no go because it's so bumpy and dirty. So let me just see where the other bit takes us. I'm hoping we can get round that way. Look 
quite a short way to go, Megan. That's a bit bumpy there. We'll see. So we'll carry along here <coughs> and see where this takes us. I'm hopefully on the headland, but um, I'm not 100% sure. We'll see for that in a minute. stop here for a minute and just let you enjoy the absolutely stunning view and there's a lovely view so puddles so obviously if you're on a tramper it's not too bad if you have a wheelchair assisted vehicle or a wheelchair you're going to get a bit muddy so please be prepared Look at that coastline, isn't that lovely? So we're going to see how far we go. We can actually know that there's a drone to the right of us. I'll show you him, look, can you see? Hanging in the air. You probably can see us, see us watching him, watching you, watching them. Crosshair. It's not moving actually, some of it. <laughs> Wonder what he's up to. And then we'll get Megan to show you uh, my daughter view we have. Do I? <laughs> you too. Oh, that's the drone. See him? That looks like a pretty mean machine. <laughs> so, so yeah, this is a bit bumpy. We're going to take it over this way. The other place, as I say, was really muddy, so we're not sure whether we were meant to go along that or not. It wasn't at all, wasn't that massively obvious. <laughs> but again, the, the field's going to be quite muddy, so um, it's okay. So we're going to go along this road. And here's one of those lovely gates. The National Trust put in. So we'll just wait for Meg for a second. So here we are on the other side of the gate. Again, there's our view. It had a little black sign with a tramper on it. So it's going to be, as I say, a little bit bumpy. So yeah, this is bumpy and this is muddy. And I'm sure Megan's pretty chuffed. <laughs> you okay, Meg? Coming up the way. Look at that, a stunning view. So yeah, so if you choose to come, maybe wait for a few dry days or if you don't mind being caught in the mud, that's also okay. <laughs> so we're just going to catch up with you in a minute. Just get ready to the end of this pavement. So I have literally just got stuck in the mud. <laughs> Again, as I say, don't come when it's boggy like this. But you see... I'm being stubborn, I wanted to see a view, but we're all good. We got through there. I probably left in a huge mark of um, prints, <laughs> but you know, it's all good. I've got Meg's come and rescue me. So again, if you're out and about, just bear that in mind if you're on your own. Um, yeah, don't think Meg's is my team player. So we're just gonna carry on. So we're coming to a corner and I'm just gonna turn you around the mud coming again. <laughs> My car's going to look terrible by the time I finish, but hey, never mind. Look at that for a fantastic view. Isn't that just incredible? So we're going to carry on there. We're going to go to the top gate. Go on then. So we have literally stuck in the mud. <laughs> My poor daughter. <laughs> how are you, Megs? How's, you, how, how's your feet? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Megan. <laughs> oh my goodness me, that was horrendous. Oh my god, let me turn around. Let me show you where we've just come from. So we've just come up there and we have literally caused a bit. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> that was fun. Got up a bit of 
sun. She's all right. We'll clean the boots off later. You should see the state of my feet. <laughs> it's coming, but it's all better now. It was worth it. We'll show you in a minute how, how worth it it was. <laughs> so now Megan's recovered. Wrists and everything are all right. I owe her a coffee at least for that. Sterling. Sterling effort. Can you see, see over that side? Do you want to see my feet? I've literally. So yeah, lesson learned. Do not come when you've had so much rain because that clearly is not happening. And here's another one of those lovely gates. Beautifully demonstrated by Megan. Thank you very much, Megan. Then you can manage those on your own because I've tried them at Park Head, which is another one of the coastal walks. And um, yeah. I think this is as far as we can go. Sorry, Megan. Do you think? Definitely can't go down that way. No, it said no oh, did it? From that gate? Okay, so Megan just told me there's no tram pussy. And we've just come through it. So that's obviously the point that you can get to. So, um, so yeah. Yeah, I might need a shove, Megan. Sorry, my trusted steed is going to give me a shove so we can show you. But clearly, you can't get up there with a tramper. That's a nice bench. Look at that. A contemplation bench. And how fab is that? So I'll just turn around. Do that. Look at that for an, an absolutely sterling view. Isn't that lovely, Megan? This is really welcome to Pentai Glaze. Stunning. So we've got to the gate that it says no, you can't go through, because clearly you went through. And we're just going to go and see where this takes us, and if we can do it. Oh, that's the beginning of the birds. Wow. There's a bench down there. Let's see how far we can go. Oh, that's good to keep my, get my wheels clean. <laughs> what did this mean? <laughs> Get that for scenery. Oh my. Up there, he's behind us. So we're going to come down here and see where that takes us. As I say, great idea for a tramper being early because it's so nice if you can get out and about. That's what we're about. Go out and about and see what's around and enjoy it all because, um, you know, we like to go out and do something different. Again, you can see whether this is suitable for you or not, whether you want to go through the mud. <laughs> Still, at least if you hire a tramper, they've got to clean it so, um, for ourselves. We've got to clean it ourselves. So let's see what this says down here. There's a nice little bench. Yeah, so they have signs here that's got, can you see there's a sign on the, on the gate? I'll just zoom in a bit. No tramper. So they advise you not to go over there. So um, I'm guessing they've turned up for a reason. Isn't that stunning? There's Maggie sitting on the contemplation bench. And I'll sit beside her. I haven't got anything to eat. <laughs> Whoa, good job she had the glasses on. I think I had the look then. <laughs> We've just nibbled something. Oh dear, that definitely is going to be the key ring. There's a hole in it. I'm really sorry, Megan. Bad mother award. Love me, really. <laughs> so, yeah, isn't that just great? A shame we can't go through that bit, but obviously other people can. But we can still hear and enjoy some special time together. Me, Maggie, and Rubix. Doesn't get any better than that. Yeah? So this is the National Trust car park at Pentai Glaze. So this is just so masses of parking. So we're going to sh show you um, an alternative route. You might want to get in there and leave, Meg. So what we're going to do, we're going to get you on a, a 
path which is just literally up there so we're going to go out the exit there's like a little orchard area which is ideal for children but you can't go up the slant because it's really really muddy again so what we're going to do is we are going to go up here it's a bit gravelly and then we're going to turn off to the right in a second. So let's get up the hill. We're going to go over here. And that's it. That's where we need to go. So there's the gate there. And that takes us right down to the sea. So there's another route that we can go just there. So that's the bit down to the kiddie area, but that's so muddy to get up that slope. So we've just literally come to the gate and we are going to carry on the footpath down here. So again, this is, an, this is another route for the tramper. And this takes us right down to the beach. Again, a bit muddy, but definitely not as muddy as the other way. She says, <laughs> I'm not a wicked, this is all bad. There seems to be mud everywhere. So we're going to go through it because we're brave. I mean, Megs doesn't have to push us, which is so, so good. <laughs> so yeah, this is a lovely little, um, lovely little way. So we're just going to carry along here. See, the dogs are all protected, they're, they're all safe. There's... So that's great for the dogs too. So we'll carry on. We'll catch you in a minute. So we've gone through all the mud and now we're just onto the gravelly bit. So it's a bit bumpy, but not that bumpy. So, and we're going to go down, down towards the bay. You can see, see there on the little island. So we were to the right, towards the rumps. Now we're going to go and head down here. I know there's a few gates, so you, it, this like, this way is doable, as I say. Where we parked the car just now, at the main car park, you can get a drink, and that's where you would hire a tramper. So basically, you can choose which route you would like to take. Um, but they might not actually, let, let, they might not hire the tramper out if it's really bad weather. Or if it's really muzzy, they probably wouldn't hire it out today. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so this is a bit uneven, but obviously you just need to use your own discernment on which part you go on. But again, it's doable with an off-roader. So we've had so much rain. So let's show you the views from the side. Maggie's bringing up the rear, my daughter, bless her. Always great to have somebody with you, but also this is this route you could definitely do on your own if you felt like it, if you felt up to it. Um, so the terrain changes slightly now. So we're going into slightly muddy. So I'm gonna stay up here and see if we can do it. Carefully, how muddy it is. So yeah, again, if you're going to come to Pentire Glaze, I would definitely recommend that you, you know there's been a week of no rain. Um, we've had s continuous rain, so um, it's not lovely. Not always brilliant, so we'll see how far we can get today, because we really wanted to take you out because we've had so much rain, as I say. So we wanted to get you out while it's sunny and, and all that. And I do have Megan to push me. So that's another good reason for coming out while Megan's there. Can you see the sea just there? So I'm just pan around a bit. Let me see Maggie coming up, up the rear. Oh. <laughs> Let's see how she's doing. She's, she's um, puddle watching. Puddle watching and mud watching. I was saying that my buggy is so dirty, but you know, we want to have fun, so um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> oh, do the things we do. So, yes, 
thinking, yeah, we're going to get through it. And the end of this bit, there was going to be another gate. So obviously this bit's wider, so I've got a bit more of a choice which mud bit I want to go through. And that bit. <laughs> I didn't, it took me. Hang on a minute, let me just see if it would move me. Hang on. Let's some. Um, there's always a daughter that's got wise advice. There we go. All good, Meg. <laughs> she wanted to save her muscles for me. Kids, bless them. They always, they always know the right answer. I actually think I wanted her to push me because she's so good at doing it. <laughs> I was doing the damsel in distress bit that failed miserably. So there's that. As I say, this is really muddy. Ruth doesn't mind. And you can see that the weather's coming in. So we might get some rain in a minute. But let's see how far I can take you today. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see just in case everything goes pear shape. And there's one more gate at the end. So the gate that joins this, that to, from the side, takes you directly to Paul's F, which clearly we can't do. So in case you're interested, we have recorded a video from Dama Bay to Paul's F again, but we couldn't carry on the whole route because the bridge, the lovely bridge they put in is just too narrow to get over for us. So that was such a shame, but let's hope they change it because that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, I just think if people know the problems, then they can correct them. But if they don't know, they're not going to even begin to think that they need correcting. So um, hence, that's why we're here. So I'm just concentrating. <laughs> so here we are, as I said. That goes to the new pole there. So there's obviously those steps there. And there's Ruby waiting patiently at the gate. And we know these gates go both ways. So we've just done that ourselves. Meg's just coming at the rear. Right, Meg? This is a bit muddy. We're gonna take you down as far as we can. Again, it's still really muddy. And it's a bit, bit narrower here. But, whoops. <laughs> But I can, I can manage, and as I say, it's muddy. So if it's not muddy, when you come, then it should be, it should be okay. No problem. So, and this is the interesting bit. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this. Because it goes down to the beach on the right, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able. Oh, actually, I think that's fine. We'll go down that way. Hello. You're a bit to come this way. Thank you. So, yeah. I thought it was steeper than it was, but it's not. So that's also a fab sign. So yeah, so this bit, coming up to a bit of a beach, I just want to show you. So this is, say, this is the second route that you can take. Can you see the sea? You can see the weather's changed. <laughs> that's Cornwall for you. So we're gonna go down here. have Megan with me so just in case I get stuck I want to see how much I can do it on my own because that's what I want you to know so I would definitely say that this is where it gets interesting I'm slightly tilted here I'm just going to see what I can do again so that goes down the slope to the beach I can't get through that way, but I definitely think I can get down to the beach. Let's go and have a little look. I say, let me try it, and if I can do it, you can do it. So we're on the side. Oh, sorry, Rubik's come. Good boy. Thank you. So yeah, that's the bit where we're going to stop. I think I don't think we can get past that bit without problem. So I think that's as far as we can go. So what I'm going to do, if Megan doesn't mind, I'm just going to ask Megan if she minds taking you, just so you can see it anyway, generally. Megan?
just going to take you down and show you what the beach looks like and the ocean because I can't get any further than that because that's as far as it will go. So um, Megan Bless was on the phone call at the same time, so she's multitasking. So yeah, so there's, this is the lovely little beach next to the Pole Zeth beach. And um, there's a little wagon there. You can get drinks in summer, but you'd, I would struggle getting past this bit. I don't know whether the all terrain, as in like the, um, there I am. This is where I stop. So Megan says, as I say, panning round just showing you what the beach looks like. And you can see to the right, there's a, a, there is a little footpath, but it, again, that's just able-bodied 100%. There's no way. So yeah, so they have a dog ban. As I say, I'm not sure when it is, but... Um, so we're back to the car park. We say lots of parking. And I just want to show you where the kiosk is and where the tramper hire is. There's lots of um, disabled spaces, plenty of room, which is lovely. Megan's got hiccups. <laughs> so there's, that's where you get your drinks, just from that little hut here. So there's a snack shop and tide wave. There's a very large eight metre WC. And I want to show you in the middle. So in here, there's the main toilets. And there's tables in there for a bit of um, shelter. And also there's extra seating over there, so you can go and get a coffee. But yeah, it's not open today. So you'd normally get a coffee from here, from in there. And this is what I want to show you where we were. So, a few more details of where the accessible routes are, which would be good. So yeah. So thank you so much for joining us today at Wheelie Fun of Adventures. We are, as I say, at Pentai Glaze and I hope you, if you don't try this route, there's other routes that you can go. You can go down to the beach as well. So uh, again, as I say, you can hire a tramper. We've had a great time with you. Megan's got lo 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 my daughter's got lo lots of strength in her arms now for pushing me through the mud. We are absolutely caked up in mud here. Um, so. But yeah, choose your days wisely, as I say. Um, we've had a great time with you and we're really grateful that you're here. And if you'd like to like, share and subscribe, that would be absolutely fantastic because we want to get as many people to know where you can go and have some adventures. There's some places you can't do, but there are some places you can. And that is exactly what the channel is about. So thank you for supporting the channel, for being here with us. And we'll see you on, very soon on our next great adventures. So take care and see you soon. Bye.